Oh my god. You got it. No. No. Money really does buy you everything, doesn't it? Even the ability to destroy history. In case you guys missed it, um, Kim Kardashian decided to wear the original Happy Birthday Mr. President dress uh, that Marilyn Monroe wore to the Met Gala. Mr. President, the late Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> So when this news came out, I feel like I was one of the very rare folks that absolutely screamed <laughs> instead of awed at this choice. Um, that is a piece of history that is being thrown around for costume. Now, if you guys aren't too familiar with this dress or Marilyn Monroe, and if you're not on Barry, which of where you've been all these years, <laughs> Um, this is the dress that she wore to say happy birthday, Mr. President, to President Kennedy. Um, it's a very, very iconic. It is one of the most important gowns alongside the seven year itch dress, alongside the Niagara dress, alongside a lot of, I would say this is like top five most important gowns in all of Maryland's history. Um, if you want to preserve any of them, it's those, you know what I mean? She's worn many, many dresses through the years, but this one falls as one of the most iconic gowns of all time. And it was mostly because it was a very, um, promiscuous dress for the time. It was a nude color, so it almost looked like she was a little naked. It was a little bit see-through, um, and it was very skin tight. So, uh, it definitely has marked a huge huge, huge uh, point in history where this dress would then be an iconic gown because it did shock the world. Um, Marilyn Monroe barely fit in this dress herself. Now she was actually a lot smaller than people remember or think. She had the classic 24 inch waist. Um, she, she could not fit in this dress. They actually had to sew her into this gown. Um, so when she was performing, like right before her performance, they literally sewed her into this dress because otherwise she couldn't slip it on. Now, Kim Kardashian, respectfully, is much bigger than Marilyn Monroe, especially in the hip area. And so knowing how tight this was on Marilyn, I can only imagine how much this dress stretched out for Kim to fit it. And I know she lost about 16 pounds to try to fit a little bit better into the gown, but with the surgery and all that, like it's still significant to, in size to Marilyn's hips that are actually much smaller than Kim Kardashian's. So I know this dress had to get ripped. It had to get, like it had to. I've worn so many, as a vintage creator, I've worn so many vintage gowns and gowns that were in pretty good condition and they still ripped on me. Um, it's just what happens to older fabric. The seams get loose, um, rhinestones start falling off, things just start deteriorating, that is nature. Um, and I've had pretty good quality dresses and pretty good like like firm dresses still rip on me. And it actually fit me. And like it was actually my size and it still ripped just from like moving my arm the wrong way. So the fact that this risk was taken for Kim K's moment on a red carpet is super disrespectful in my opinion. Um, it hurts to see a piece of history just get thrown on like that and not just thrown on gently. Can I, can I show you how they put it on? Oh my god, you got it. No, no. Um, I'm pretty sure some rhinestones have fallen off as well. Um, there's just no way that all that rubbing did not warrant at least one or two to fall off. Um, it was also hung up on a wooden hanger. That's another big no-no for delicate gowns. You want to do it on a velvet cushiony hanger. And so the fact that it was just hanging on a wooden hanger is beyond my understanding. I don't know how the Maryland estate allowed this to happen. Um, I, I don't know. I, I, I'm assuming maybe she offered up enough money for it to be worth it, but oh my god. Now I feel like a lot of people are excusing Kim K's decision, saying, well, 
Kim Kardashian goes through the similar things that Marilyn goes through, so it's like a homage, it's like, it, you know, it, it fits, and it's not a social thing. A lot of people are looking at it socially, but they're not looking at it historically. It's really all about preserving a historic piece. Um, again, this is a piece that represented a movement for women, and it's the reason why you guys can walk around in a bodycon in a low slit back dress and a crop top and short shorts. <laughs> it, she contributed to our ability to dress like that. And so this dress is not just a dress, there, it, there, it's important. It is something that moved us forward to dress however we wanted to dress. So that is why a lot of people in the vintage community are ex incredibly upset. It's not her Sunday attire, it's not the clothing she wore at Garden, it's a clothing that she created as a movement. And pieces like that that have contributed to the change of a part of history need to be preserved so other people in the future can, can be able to see this amazing piece. I mean, there's nothing like being able to see a piece like this in real life. Um, and for someone to just go and throw it on, stretch it out, not care, you know, risk getting it, even if she didn't break it or stretch it or nothing, the fact that it was an absolute risk, you know, she, she could have walked the wrong way, she could have done anything to completely damage it through and through, and that is just not a risk worth taking for a piece like this. <sighs> you know, I understand the temptation to want to wear something so iconic. I would be tempted, if somebody offered me the same opportunity, I would be tempted. I'm not gonna lie to you, I would be tempted. But if you're a true, like, Marilyn fan, and a true fan of history and all that, that's something you turn down. It's just something you go, mm -mm, preserve it, preserve it. Because I don't want to be the person to rip it. I don't want to be the person responsible if it breaks. Um, that's just, I, I'm a huge fan. I'm a huge fan of Marilyn. I literally, okay, I'm a weirdo about it, <laughs> but on Instagram, you know, you can save <clears throat> like posts that you find on your explore page. I have a tab specifically for Marilyn Monroe where I save a lot of her HD photos. Why? I don't know. I don't plan to do anything with this. I just like looking at them. So safe to say, huge Marilyn fan, and I, out of many huge Marilyn fans, would be absolutely tempted to want to wear one of these. But again, if you respect her, if you respect her history, you just don't. You just don't. You just don't. You look at it from afar, you admire it, and then you make sure it stays preserved and intact.